Now, there are times that you do not want to modify your car's original head unit to a third-party one such as an Android player. Because let's face it, even though they are actually very convenient with a big screen and all that, they sometimes destroy the aesthetics of your nice-looking dashboard, let alone some of them don't really offer a nice experience and they can offer pretty bad sound quality to your car speakers, which is why you tend to turn to devices like this. This is the copyright W701 Plus, which is a 7-inch external display which looks like a 10-year-old GPS that is on your car and all that. But this thing right here not only just does Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but it runs full Android 12, which means you can download apps onto this thing and use it like a small tablet on your car's dashboard. So here are my thoughts about the copyright W701 Plus after using for about two weeks. Now let's take a closer look at the device before we move on to my car and show you how I set it all up. Now the copyright W701 Plus comes with two types of mounts which one of them I have already attached it onto this device here. This is how it looks like. So this thing can be attached to your dashboard if you want to. There's basically a plate down there with a double-sided adhesive which you can stick onto your car's dashboard. Otherwise, if you prefer, copyright does offer another mount which is right here. So this has a wider surface as you can see as you stick it onto your car's dashboard and good thing is that they provided this uh, double-sided 3m tape which actually works very well in my case and finally it is actually powered by this secret power uh barrel port here which i'm not using it as you can see right now but what i'm using to power up this device is basically a usb-c to barrel port adapter as you can see right here which actually works really well and i recommend that you go get this cable if you want to save some space and don't want to use up another secret power adapter in your car now let's take a quick look at the device's hardware so i'm just going to unplug it um, to show you guys the hardware itself okay so on the left side of the device you get a couple of ports here so you get a microphone port which is for an external microphone if you prefer a clear voice call while you're talking in your car that is unfortunately not provided inside the box of the w701 plus you get a micro sd card slot you have a camera in this is for a reverse camera if you intend to uh, use it as a reverse camera monitor you even have an av out this is more of an audio output or video output if you have that so i use this to connect to my car's auxiliary import you have a usb port that can be used for connecting usb flash drives or for charging your smartphone and finally this is the dc 12 volt port which you are going to use all the time so on the top here you get the power button you get a reset button in case anything goes wrong with the device and you want to just soft reset it this is the power, this is the reset button and right at the bottom that's pretty much it's pretty clean on the right side as well so yeah that's the copyright w701 plus so we're just going to plug it back and show you guys the features of this great little device here now it takes a little bit uh, of time to power it on here so obviously this is the splash screen so i think it takes about 15 seconds to get it all started up so i'm actually a little disappointed that there's no fast boot up feature whatsoever but then yep this is what it is you got to wait for about uh 15 to 20 seconds for it to properly boot up before you can start driving and you know get everything started so yeah let's just wait for a bit so there you go it's already starting right now and this is the ui of the copyright w701 plus it is actually pretty user-friendly and straightforward you get a couple of features here you get carplay android auto so depending on uh, what smartphones that you're using you just connect over bluetooth and you just boot it up and it just does for, in for instance i already have my iphone connected to this device here so i'm just going to tap on carplay so this is how it works it's going to connect and it's just pretty straightforward and it just works like instant look at it. it it takes less than five seconds to get it connected and yes it already has a built-in speaker which is great yep it already has a built-in speaker in case your car stereo doesn't work so yep you're not left without speakers even if um, you don't have one all right so this is how the speaker is i think the speaker quality sounds pretty okay it's not the best it's not as good as a smartphone speaker but it will suffice as a you know as a gps navigator system if you want to use it so let's say if i have waste right over here and i let's go back to let's go to some places here and it didn't take a while let's and, take 
under Sri Damansara, Kamanbuk and Malori Kuala Lumpur. This is the fastest route with toll toll free route is 12 minutes slower. All right, so yeah, this is how the sound quality is like when you are using Waste on the copyright 701 Plus. So let's just stop the navigation and let's go back to some other features, shall we? All right, so let's stop and let's get out of CarPlay right now. So since I mentioned that this thing runs fully on Android 12, you are able to run apps and all that, which obviously you are really seeing Spotify, YouTube right here. So if you want to use that, you have to disconnect uh, CarPlay and all that in order to use the Wi-Fi connection to get connected to an internet connection. Now, the reason why we are still doing this in the studio is because um, we have proper internet connection here so that I can show the features properly. So yeah, we are gonna connect to our studio's Wi-Fi network. So unfortunately, the Wi-Fi on this thing here doesn't support five gigahertz. So that's gonna be a, a little bit slow when it comes to loading speeds on videos and all that. But in, in my opinion, it still works fine in my case. So let's just head over to YouTube for instance. And there you go, that's the YouTube app. All right, boots up pretty fast and we are just gonna head on to our channel. KL Gadget Guy. See, it works pretty well. It already has a built-in microphone. So let's watch our Galaxy S24 Ultra, hands-on. All right, so we've got it right here. Right, so as you can see, it actually works pretty fast despite only connecting at 2.4 gigahertz network. So we're just going to minimize this and close this video. So yeah, in terms of operation, it's, it's just like a regular uh, Android device here. So the only thing is that when you want to navigate around here, just like going back to the home screen and all that, you got to use this little circle uh, assistive button here to get back to the home screen. And to adjust volume, you, you will also need to use that circle button as well. But if you're in the home screen, that no longer becomes available. All you need to do is to just like tap around here, just tap the setting, other, and this is where you can adjust the volume of your device here. Now, um, I would say that this is not the most convenient way of adjusting the volume of this, of this device. I, I wish there's a volume rocker of sorts on the side for me to press on it, but yeah, it's just not available. And once you set on it, it's kind of like a set and forget kind of thing, all right? Now, uh, the launcher is obviously not my, uh, not, not the best out there that I've seen. So personally, I've been using this card launcher free on the copier W701 Plus uh, for this period of time because I think this is a much more friendly uh, launcher that you can use inside your car. It's obviously optimized for car and all that. And the one thing that I just uh, find it a little surprising is that they didn't include any GPS on this device here because let's put it this way. This is going to be a great standalone device that you don't need to have your phone around, but there's just no GPS uh, included on the chipset here, which is kind of weird. But yeah, if you want to do navigation on this thing, you just got to connect to your phone in order to get uh, navigation directions to uh, point it from point A to point B. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'll date. But this is the launcher that I very much prefer. It is called Car Launcher Free. As you can see, it shows you like a list of your apps that you have installed and it actually works really well. Now, obviously you get Google Play Store uh, on this device here, which is great. So you can download some apps or game if you want to play inside your car. And I'm just going to show you some other apps. So aside from YouTube, we also got Netflix right here. Okay, so we're gonna uh, just run Netflix for you guys to see that it works properly. Now, this is the thing about most seven inch screens. Not every one of them come with an Android operating system. They are just uh, having a Linux system where it only just lets you uh, do regular Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But this thing here, it runs full Android so that if you are not using it for navigation or whatsoever, you can just run apps, just connect to a hotspot Wi-Fi, and you will be able to watch movies and whatsoever on your screen and inside your car, all right? So let's just play like Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I'm gonna show you that it works. All right, so there you go. It works pretty well. Now, the only thing that, um, the only thing that I don't like is that when playing uh, Netflix movies, this um, two bar here just doesn't go off, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, I would have preferred something like what you saw on YouTube just now, that there's a little circle that you can press and go back to the home screen. But here, it just stays on here. I believe it's some kind of app optimization uh, issue that uh, they have, but then yeah, it still works well. It is a pretty great device that I've enjoyed a lot.
All right, so we are now in my 2011 Toyota Prius, which I just bought recently, and I am super happy with this ride, not because of its fuel efficiency, but also look at this dashboard here. It actually looks very nice for a 13-year-old car, and especially this ancient-looking CD player here, which I haven't been seeing one for the past 10 years, all right? Now, um, this car already has a six-speaker system, and the audio system is already fully functional. It's really nice, so this is the reason why I do not want to change this panel here because it looks symmetrical, fits nicely, so it would look really ugly if you put on a casing with an Android player right here. Now, um, this is how the copyright W701 Plus is being set up on my car here. I put it on the dashboard with the with the suction mount being attached to the dashboard, which is really nice. So yeah, as you can see, we are actually now outdoors and uh, the brightness and all that is pretty good. It has an auto brightness feature that automatically dims when it goes into tunnels and brightens up when it is in daylight, all right? So as you can see, it, it isn't really reflective at all. We are now outdoors, which is great for the driver. Some carpet screens that I have used they really have bad reflective screens but this one right here works really really well all right so we're going to show you uh, how well it works so I'm just going to run um, Apple CarPlay right now I know we've done it back in the studio already so we're going to use phone link okay so I have um, my iPhone connected to the W7701 Plus already and we are going to make a drive right now okay so it's connecting and it should be activated in a while, right? So here we go. All right. As you can see, audio quality is pretty good. We have some Chinese New Year song that's playing in the background. And let's head over to Waze. And we're just going to tap on search and go to some random places. Go to Brothers Factory Outlet. So here we go. So that's how useful the copyright W701 Plus is on the road. This thing retails for 240 US dollars, which converts to around 1,133 ringgit, which by all means, it is not an affordable device. But if you consider that you are not changing your car stereo system as well as upgrading your speakers, you are actually saving a lot of money by just buying this one because it is an excellent device that runs Android and offers wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you'd like to purchase one, definitely check out the link in the description below and as for now thanks for watching let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and i'll see you in the next one